Today we're gonna remove all of that nasty grain and noise from your videos, and we're gonna do it with Neat Video. I think that it's safe to say that we've all got video footage hanging around on our hard drives that we really have heart for, we really love, but for one reason or another, the quality just isn't quite there. Maybe it's the stabilization, bad sound, but a big issue for me has always been noise. So this video is actually, I think, my very first attempt at cinematic B-roll. We actually took it at Cannon Beach in Oregon, and funny thing, um, that's actually where Goonies was filmed, and I did not plan on wearing this shirt for this video. I just put it on and then realized when I opened up the video. Now, despite all that, I really love this video. I'm quite proud of it, aside from the noise and the grain, and you know what? I have a sneaky suspicion that I am not the only person that has been in this boat before. Luckily for us, there are tools that can fix this, and we actually have a couple of options. Now first, there is the denoiser from a company called Red Giant. It's part of their Red Giant Complete Suite, and not only are you gonna get the denoiser, but you are also going to get a bunch of other really cool stuff, like something called Colorista. That's gonna help you out with color grading and color correction. It's also got something called Pluralize, which is gonna help you sync up your audio and your video. And I actually got to work with this at a previous job I had, and this whole suite is really pretty cool. But the downside with going this route is the price. So if you wanna get your hands on this, you're gonna have to do the Red Giant Complete Package, which monthly is $79, and annually it's $599. And that's every single year. Yikes. The next option though is something called Neat Video. And although their website looks a little bit on the shady side, I decided to go ahead and take the risk and try this out. And you know what? It works really, really well. You're not gonna get any of the other awesome plugins that you would with Red Giant, but for the price of $74.90 for 1080 or $129.90 for nose size limit, once, like one and done, I think this is a really awesome deal. I'm now able to utilize footage that in the past I probably would have just thrown in the trash. It's also incredibly easy to use. So if you wanna follow along, go ahead and download this, get it installed. It's very straightforward, just like any other program that you'd install on your computer. I'm just gonna find a clip here, probably, most of the noisiest ones are gonna be towards the end. Oh, this is a good one. Okay, we've got a lot of noise in this. If you can see in here on the sand, and yeah, granted they're grainy, but let's, let's just give it a shot. Okay, so you're gonna need to do this on each individual clip. So I'm gonna choose the clip that I want to do this with, and I'm gonna go up to effects, and I'm just gonna search for neat video, and it's already, once you install it, it's going to be in here. So you don't have to do anything extra. So I'm gonna grab this, and I'm just going to drop it onto my clip. And then I'm gonna go over here into my effect controls panel. And down at the very bottom, you're gonna see reduce noise V5SR. So first thing I'm gonna wanna do is hit prepare. Sometimes it might take a few seconds um, for this build button to put up, but even though it says profile not prepared or not ready, that's okay. It's supposed to say that. We're going to hit build. And then this dialog box is going to pop up. So you can get really granular with this, and I've tried doing some custom stuff with it, but so far I've found that their auto profile option actually works better. It analyzes everything. and It knows exactly what areas have the most noise in them. So I'm gonna hit auto profile. So it chooses the area for you, and you can make it larger, you can make it smaller, but I find that generally when I mess with it, it just screws things up. So I'm gonna hit apply. 
And then just so you can see the difference here, Now, something that you might want to be aware of is if you use this plugin on a clip that is heavily color corrected, you might get a screen that looks like this. And my workaround is just to duplicate the clip, remove all attributes from it, put the plugin on the completely raw, untouched clip, and then after you've run the denoiser, put all of your color corrections and all of those attributes onto the denoised clip. Now, I don't know that I would recommend copying and pasting this effect like you would do other attributes because each clip is going to have its own individual analysis and parameters. So what might work for one clip may not work for another one. Okay, so now you have the power to denoise your videos, but wouldn't it be great if you knew how to avoid noise in the first place? If so, make sure you check out the video on screen where I show you how to accurately expose your videos to avoid that noise every single time using my very favorite tool, Zebras. Now I've got a lot more videos in the pipeline, but if you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave those down in the comments and I will see you in the next one.